Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, anybody who's been watching this channel for uh, more than a month probably knows that I'm somewhat of a amateur inventor. I've invented probably dozens of golf training aids and a little more than a year ago, I had an idea for an invention and it was better than anything else that I had ever done. It, it is a very kind of complicated looking uh, <laughs> contraption. So it kind of like the dad on Gremlins so that these inventions that nobody cared about that were very complicated it's kind of like that for a while i was thinking oh i'd like to take this to market and other things i i talked to some people about it and there's just not really a huge mar market for golf training aids i still might do it and i've I had never shared it with you guys because people were telling me that it was a bad idea to share my concept with uh the public and stuff but i just want to this is it so so I just brought my sweater to this big reveal or whatever. So this is it. It's called the drag and lag. So before I saw Monty Shinebloom, like I've, t I've talked about on in this channel for so long, I was absolutely desperate to hold the lag and then get the shaft leaning forward at impact. So I, I come up with a bunch of different things. If you go look like back before this channel with Be Better Golf, if you look way back when, I invented some things that I, I, um, that I thought would get this crazy lag. What this does is this. There's a, a drag part to it and a lag part to it. And then there's also a little bit of a uh, plane part to it as well. So what it is, is you drag it. This, it has a slider here. So you drag like this, right? And then you're wondering, okay, well, what's the lag part? When you drag it, it will hit this catch and then this arm will come down and then you'll have to lag over it. So you drag and lag. So you guys, if you guys have seen my swing. I, I go, I kind of snatch it inside and I get wristy first. So the drag part of this is if you've seen those drills where you drag by, back a water bottle or you hit a ball back to this way, it's uh, kind of like that, but you can do it and uh, again and again a million times. Drag it, and then see that arm comes down, and you have to swing over that arm. Even though I haven't really shared this with anyone, it's super effective. I actually used this uh, for an hour the night before I played at Strawberry Farms and, and shot 71 out there. So drag and leg. So the whole concept of, of this thing was thinking that I had to hold, hold, hold the lag. And now that I've uh, taken Monty, uh, lessons with Monty and we had our kind of well-known video, No Turning Cast, where I'm actively casting the, the club in order to get it here. Because, I mean, just a, a super quick refresher on that is when I was trying to hold the lag, it just ended up getting me stuck, stalling out and flipping even more and getting into this kind of position. But when I was actively trying to dump it out, it, what it did was speed up my right hand so I could get to this position more, you know, leaning off my right leg. Right about four months after I invented this thing, I started Be Better Golf, the, the YouTube channel. And uh, then when I had that kind of realization with Monty that you don't get lag by holding it, then I was like, well, I don't know if this lag bar is really helping them. So then I started using this a lot more as something to just get my snatch takeaway out. And it's super effective for that as well. So this is what I like to do. Here, hit the ball, okay? How's it going? Then I like to, when it's in this back position, Jonathan Bird uses a training aid that nobody's seen before. Uh, if anybody out there has seen, has seen what I'm talking about, let me know the name of it. It's super kind of secret. Um, then you take it and, and you just feel impact to the, there. So you kind of feel that solid. So, and just doing this, going back, and then feeling it going through like this is really great feedback, back, through. I really like doing that. Then, of course, with any training aid you use, you're not gonna wanna do a lot of block practice with it you're gonna to wanna to mix in a lot of just regular shots too. So that um, 
what you're working on with the training can actually translate to your golf swing. But I just wanted to share this with you. This kind of shows the change in philosophy that I've had with my concepts of lag and everything else. So instead of drag and lag, more the feeling that I, that I want is drag it and accelerate the hands. So really, it's not as a rhymey, but drag and accelerate is a little bit more of what it should be. All right, my battery's just about dead. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you, uh, you like it for really what the, uh, the key is to getting better, in my opinion. Check out Sinking Your Swing. There's a link for it in the description below. And here is the trailer. Of all the different things we've talked about and worked on, I think the thing, without a doubt, that's helped me get actually improve and get better is changing my concept about sinking the swing. To me, it is the single most important thing in the golf swing. It's not lag, it's not how much open your hips get at impact, it's not that you hit a draw, it's not that you hit a fade. Can you get your arms to the same spot on your chest every single time?